there's one thing that I actually forgot to do in here and I actually noticed it when I was playing the video back and editing it was um, if we go to our CSS file here uh, the eagle eyed people may have noticed that I didn't put a hyphen between our box and shadow uh, so if we save that and I'm going to put that to the server and if we refresh the page you should now be able to see the box shadow and there's a slide that you can see it's like a haze more than an actual shadow and one thing else I forgot to do but those of you that probably seen what I did previously is um, the box shadow property also needs to be preceded by the uh, web kit uh, because these are CSS3 properties that they're, they're not supported in every single browser yet so again we just have to make sure that we precede them by their uh, corresponding browser rules So that's that's pretty much us covered in all browsers for the box shadow one as well. So we'll save that and again we'll put it back to the browser. Shouldn't make any difference because we're doing actually viewing this in Chrome, so the web we kid one as it covered. Um so we shouldn't see any difference here. But if what I was discussing earlier on as well about the RGBA properties, if you hover over our nav by there and inspect the element we'll see our RGBA colors and what I'll do is we've already done it for the other one so we do it for our background color here we just uh, actually no that's probably a bad one to do it for so if we we look at the ones that we already have so we say for our box shadow we darken it down so you when you click on the actual box for the color here you're brought with this little thing here and you can change it around you can make the color whatever color you want it to be and this little one here then is a little slider bar that increases the transparency or decreases the transparency whatever way you want so that's how I got my RGBA and what I did previous to recording the tutorial series was I kind of worked out what colors I wanted using this feature here it's quite handy to kind of settle on whatever color schemes you want to settle on for your for your website before you actually hard code them in and the beauty of this is you can actually go ahead and once you have your rules all sorted because uh, you can go ahead and you can create a rule in here if you want to just by clicking the little plus icon there and uh, it creates the rule for you and then you just have to go in and give it its parameters whatever you want to give it and then when you're finished creating your rule you can actually copy the entire rule and you can paste it into your CSS document so you can do all the work in the browser and then you can go back in and, and uh, just paste the rule into your CSS document so that's how I came up with that one